Hi, I'm going to show you how to make fraction visuals just like the ones pictured here on PowerPoint. It is super easy. All right, so you're going to want a new PowerPoint presentation. Here's a new presentation. Um, on this one, let's go ahead and change the size. So we're going to change the size. So go to um, design and then it says slide size and I'm going to do page setup and I like to make them four by four. That's big enough for me to work with and see. It will ask you about scaling. It doesn't matter which one you click because you have a blank slide. All right, so here we go. Um, back on the home tab, go ahead and change the layout to blank. We don't need any of that other stuff. All right, so we're going to make that fraction visual, the circle. So over here on shapes, go ahead and click on circle and just click and it will draw you a circle. Um, before we get too far, let's go ahead and change the fill to no fill and we want a black outline and I like to make the weight two and a quarter. All right now obviously that's really small so over here on the right hand side let's go ahead and make it a three by three circle. It'll fit nicely on here so we can see it. All right so I just clicked away from it and I'm going to go ahead and add a line. Now do you see how I have my mouse has turned to a plus and when I go over the line I see that there are dots. Okay, so those dots help me see the middle sections. It makes it really easy to make fourths and eighths. Obviously if you want to do thirds or fifths you just have to eyeball it. So I'm going to go straight down and it helps me because it jumps right to it. You see how it jumped right to that green line. So there I know it is perfectly straight. The two green dots are on it. Um, let's go ahead and make that black and I want it to also be two and a quarter. There we go. Now there's halves. If you want to make a half um, fraction, it, this will work too, but I'm going to go ahead and make this into fourths. So I want to duplicate this line. So I'm going to do command D or control D if you have a PC. And then I'm going to drag the end point to that. Notice when I got close, that little green circle popped up. So I knew that that was the middle and then it's going to help me out by jumping. All right, so I've, I've cut my circle into fourths. Again, you could do eighths, sixteenths, thirds, whatever, but I'm gonna do fourths. All right, now I want to, I clicked away, so I'm back, back to my home tab. I'm going to click on shapes, and this time I want the arc. The arc looks like a quarter of a circle, and when I hover over it, it actually says arc. So I'm gonna click on that, and then I can click once, and it will add my arc. Notice it's pretty small, but over here on this side, I can change it, and I want it to be three by three, just like our circle was. And then I'm gonna drag it closer to my circle. Let's go ahead and change its color. Let's make this one blue. And I want my weight to be the same, two and a quarter. And then if you look, we can put it right over that and look at that it's it's exactly the same as my circle now if you're a geometry teacher and you want to measure arc there you go but we were making fractions so i'm going to click on my arc and i want to fill it so over here it says shape fill let's go ahead and fill it and i want it to be the same color so that's what i'm going to do um and then um real fast you see these green i mean these yellow squares Look, I can drag them and I can make this as much as I want it to be. It is so awesome. So I could do all the way around my circle or whatever I want. Obviously, I just want it to be on this one a quarter of my circle, one fourth. All right, and so then at the top it says send backward. Go ahead and click send to back so that you can see the pretty nice outline. All right, so it's as easy as that. So remember, you can just drag it to however you want, however big you can add your lines. Great visual for your students. Um, if you are trying to match fractions to pictures. Now, let me show you how to easily save this as a photograph or as an image so that you can insert it into a different PowerPoint, your Word documents, whatever you're, you're creating for your students. So go ahead and click and drag over so it selects everything. And then we're going to right click and say group. So now my blue, um, arc shading and my lines and my circle are all one thing. Then after it's grouped, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say save as picture. And then you can save it. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop, call it whatever you want, and it will be ready. So let me show you on my other PowerPoint I had created. 
on this one, if I wanted to insert it, I could just insert my picture from my file. And it's right here, so then I can just, you know, adjust it and, and do whatever if I want a matching game or if I want students to tell me what it is. Um, here on this other one, I made it into eighths, so it's completely up to you. I hope this helps.